Okay, hello everyone. How are you, it's K? So this is the 2nd of September and I will talk about the trade psychology in the month of September as the video series. So, and especially I would like to talk about the winning trade psychology, including some risk management and money management topics related. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video series in the month of September. So let's get started right now. But let me switch screen here. Okay, and so as a quick disclaimer, uh, the, my YouTube content is all for the educational purposes. So when you take trades, please do at your know, risk. And also, um, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines on my videos, that would be great. Okay. So, uh, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, the theme in September 2022 is going to be about winning trade psychology. So, winning trade psychology means um, I will be looking back my own trading career for the last nine years and um, think of how I managed my trade psychology from the beginner until I became a full-time, and especially after becoming a full-time trader, I learned so much with my own psychology, with my own emotion, and with my own trace. So, be purely based on my experience, I will talk about these topics. And today's topic is about trading with your own money. So let me switch the slide, because this is important. Actually, the reason why I talk about this topic today is because um, I I have been uh, getting these emails like, uh, can I borrow money to trade? Because I have been difficult in economy, or I lost a job, and can I can can you help me? I got these emails sometimes, not like always, but sometimes I get these emails. Uh, but um, I highly recommend to trade with your own money, and if you're not ready. I don't recommend you to trade yet. You can still study. You can still study by read, by uh, watching my videos, or uh, reading some books, and by backtesting with a tester, by demo account. You can practice, but until you get ready financially, I highly recommend never trade with a live account. And the reasons is because uh, these um, I highlighted basically four topics today about trading with your own money. And one is, again, never borrow money to trade. Because if you borrow some money to trade, then your psychology will be difficult. Especially when you lose. Especially when you lose continuously. Not only once, twice, but three times and four times. Five times when you start to lose, then your psychology will be um, more focused to win back the losses and you might get emotional more for sure than trading with your own money. And that's, this is one of the reasons why I highly recommend to trade with your own money. Let's say one day I get this email also, like um, I, got, I, um, I have a loan, I borrowed some money from the bank to loan the house. And he says I, I'm planning to use that money to trade and make it bigger and then buy the bigger house. And I stopped him, actually. I stopped him and never do that. Because um, what if you lose? There is no guarantee that you can uh, you know, make it bigger. You may lose always. And the more losing traders, more losing traders and the winning traders in the world. So if you are not experienced, if you haven't been profitable yet, I never recommend anyone to borrow, no, borrow money to trade from someone, from especially from the banks or from family, friends. Um, never borrow money to trade is my highly recommended uh, message. Um, in Japan, when I was in Japan, I also had some articles. I read some articles about like uh, borrowed money to trade from someone and he couldn't pay back the, the debt from him, from his friend. That was his actually best friend. That's why he borrowed money from his best friend. 
but because he couldn't pay back, um, their relationship was over. And it's so sad that uh, the relationship becomes over just because you can't pay back the, 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 the money. But uh, in reality, it happens. It happens, actually. I've seen so many examples around myself within my, uh, my community or within my friends. So, again, never borrow money to trade is the rule. It was actually my rule when I was started my trades, my trading career. I was working full time and trading part time back then. Because I was uh, I was uh, trading part time, I had saved enough money. Back then, I also had some some properties in Japan, Tokyo. I th I had three properties and I sold them and I had also some money. And I was also doing some of my own businesses on internet businesses while working full time. So I had enough money back then. So I never thought about borrowing money to trade. But if I want to trade, let's say with um, with uh, one million or two million dollars, then I might have borrowed money from someone and trade with that fund. But even so, I never thought about that. Instead, I decided to start smarter and make it bigger, which I will talk about in a minute. But so first rule is never borrow money from someone to trade. Always use your money to trade. And if you're not ready financially, then save money. Saving money is also really important. And while saving money, you can also practice trades with a demo account or you can practice with the Forex Tester, which is my favorite tool, Forex Tester. You can run it and um, practice with the entries, and exits, and stop losses. And also you can even see stats in the Forex Tester. So you can see your performance objectively and analyze your weaknesses and strengths objectively. That's really important before you start a live account. So that's another thing that is important. Save money until you get ready financially. And there are so many things you can do uh, until you're fully ready financially to trade. You can read books, you can watch these videos and uh, keep practicing uh, without spending so much money. Right? That's important. And also, uh, this is something that I said before, uh, is also have two wallets. Always you have to have two wallets, one to live and one to trade. And if you have a money to live, this is for your living, right? So you never touch this living money, but you save another money to trade. And only with this, with this money, with this wallet, you trade. So separate the accounts for living and trading helps you also uh, psychologically uh, safer, especially when you lose. You still have the money to live and you feel much, much safer in this way. Because I say this because I've seen so many examples of how people spend almost all the money in the saving account and also a current account. They start to use that money and they can't live anymore. So they have to borrow some money from someone. And if you keep doing this in any businesses, not only trades, but in any businesses, if you keep doing this, you can't be success because especially trading uh, it becomes difficult because you know you may lose you can potentially lose along the way and uh, it's not psychologically safe far one thing that is important is you have to keep surviving in the market but you have to keep trading because if you keep trading if you are able to keep surviving trading in the forex world or any trading uh, markets, then um, at some point you get success. That's for sure. But you know, it said that almost like 98% or 95%, whatever numbers, are losing traders, and this is because they can't keep trading right in the long run. That means if you because if they can't keep trading in the long run, that means they have to they have to quit because they lose account. They lost everything and uh, they have no money to trade. And especially if you have that experience, then um, you may not want to trade anymore. 
you may lose confidence, you may not want to lo uh, want to trade anymore because you have a painful experience of losing all the money. That's why I recommend to you to have two wallets. Again, one to live and one to trade and never mix each other. I always separate these two accounts. Also, um, and uh, once you're ready to have the wallet to trade, then start small and grow it bigger is also important. You know, um, I know you want to be profitable, and you you are if you're if you're confident, you might want to start bigger account, like uh, and then you might want to get a big return, but uh, I don't recommend you to do that actually. Uh, again, psychology will be related. Uh, if you start with a big account, let's say, however, how, how much you have right now, depends on, depending on how much you have right now, let's say you have, um, let's say, uh, $10,000 in your account, let's say. If you have the $10,000 account, then you never use all the $10,000 to trade, right? And let's say if you use... $5,000, that will be too big also. $5,000 is half of what you have. So you will never trade with that $5,000. My recommendation is to trade with um, uh, one-tenth. That will be, uh, if you have um, $10,000, then start with $1,000 or even $500 uh, to trade. If you have 100000 then you can start with um, $10,000, $5,000 to $10,000 and see how it goes. So never start big. Uh, big in terms of what you have. Always start with 10% 10, 10 or less uh, to use from the wallet to trade. And because the reason is because uh, you can you can actually make it bigger, right? Uh, you can uh, compound the the profits every month or every year, and you can grow it bigger. And this is about investing investing mindset. And never withdraw the money from this, you know, uh, from the money to trade, but uh, always compound, keep compounding until you have you have uh, enough big enough account in the trading account. And then um, start to be able to make a living with uh, withdrawing the money. But before withdrawing the money, I highly recommend you to keep compounding. Um, let's say if you start with uh, ten thousand dollars, then next month you're gonna have eleven eleven thousand right dollars. And um, two months later, that will be twelve twelve thousand and one hundred uh, dollars. Uh, on the on the second month and by like this you can keep compounding uh, every month or every year and make it bigger and bigger and when and then by the time it becomes much bigger by the time it becomes much bigger means like one year two year span then you will already also see your performance you will also know roughly how much you have in returns every month in every year so that you can Calculate backwards and see how much I have to have on the live account to withdraw money and leave yourself. So, uh, so first again, start small and make it bigger is my highly recommended comment. Every t every time I I get these emails and comments about uh, how much to start, how much to start, and how how um, how how to control these uh, financial uh, accounts, live accounts and trading accounts, I always say this, always start to start small and grow it bigger is a key to success in the long run. Let's say if you have, um, even if you have like, uh, let's say the, the previous uh, example, if you have like $10,000 in your account, and let's say if you, if you win a lottery, and you have $1 million, let's say, in your pocket. And uh, would you be able to trade with that $1 million? Of course not, right? If you, if you do it, then your psychology will impact very much. 
and uh, you may you may forget about the risk management or you may be overconfident because you have that big money you may be overconfident and you may lose more and more so trading is not related to how many trades you take and how many hours you see charts it's all about the strategy and risk management in psychology management so um even you have even if you have one million dollars account always start smaller and grow it bigger is always my recommendation based on my own experience because i lost once i created a ten thousand dollars account and ten thousand back then was not really um big money for me because i have saved enough money so i started with a ten thousand and hopefully i was i become profitable with that ten thousand and then i lost again i lost once with a new account the new live account i lost ten thousand but psychologically it was painful but uh deep in my emotion it was not really uh it was not really uh uh you know uh the issue financially it was not an issue but um psychologically i start to lose confidence so even if i start with that kind of small money for me if you keep losing you may lose confidence and i created another ten thousand dollars and on the second ten thousand dollars account i lost half and that's when i lost confidence totally and I came back with a demo account and practiced it with a demo account for the six months. And then uh, created another 10,000. And ever since, I have been profitable every year. So I think I'll talk about that topic uh, in the future videos. But uh, yeah, that's, that was my big lesson. I was thinking to, to uh, start with uh, like a... 50k or maybe 30k after losing the first uh, 10k account so that I can uh, you know I can trade with a bigger account and I can grow it faster but um, if I were doing it then uh, I might lose everything and it might also it was it might be more more painful psychologically so yeah I'm Looking back, I was glad that I lost only that much money and then uh, became profitable uh, nowadays. So anyways, um, so again, trade with your own money is the very key to success. So never borrow money from someone and always have to have two wallets, money to live and money to trade and start small and grow it bigger. So that's a topic for today. So like this, um, every Tuesdays and Fridays, I will be doing this video series in the month of September. So hopefully um, you will enjoy the next video. And until then, until I see you next time, uh, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Mata ne. Bye for now.